What materials are used in 3D printing? Ever since 2D printing was invented, the fantasy of 3D printing hasn't lagged behind it at all. Now in this day and age, that fantasy is increasingly transforming into reality. Today's 3D printers are smart devices that not only have practicality, but are pushing the boundaries of material science. In this video, we will be discussing the materials used in 3D printing. Before we dive in though, make sure to like and subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss out on any of our awesome content. So before we dive into the materials, let's first have a brief overview of 3D printing to get up to speed. There'll be no use talking about the materials if we don't have a complete understanding of the machines and the processes which utilize them. So basically, 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is the construction of a three-dimensional object from a computer-aided design model, also known as a CAD model or a digital 3D model. The actual printing process can refer to a variety of processes in which material is deposited, joined, or solidified under computer control to create a three-dimensional object. The general principles of 3D printing include modeling, printing, and finishing. Modeling is the step where the item to be printed is digitally designed from top to bottom. The methods involved are computer-aided design via a 3D scanner or with a plain digital camera and photogrammetry software. The digital camera allows easier communication with computer software. This computer software can be photogrammetry software, which is a special kind of software that allows for the extraction of geometric information from 2D images and video. 3D modeling needs to be as accurate as possible because it's always easier to get it right at this point than to make corrections later. You can think of this step as creating the blueprint for the object to be created. Next, we have printing, which is, quite honestly, self-explanatory. After modeling, the model is digitally saved in a special file format, which most 3D printers are compatible with. But before the print button is pressed, the file has to be examined for errors. Some of the most common errors include holes, face aberrations, self-intersections, shell noises, and manifold errors. Each of these errors is geometric in nature and will either prevent printing completely or ensure that the object comes out wrong. Finally, we have finishing. As great as 3D printing is, it has its limitations. Finishing is a vital step that ensures that the printer's limitations are accounted for. Finishing involves subtractive processes that beat and sculpt the object into the exact desired dimensions. Sometimes, too, surfaces are smoothened using chemical vapor methods. All right, so now that we've covered the basics, let's move over to the materials used in 3D printing. Traditionally, 3D printing has always focused on polymers since these materials are easily manufactured and are even easier to work with. However, in recent years, 3D printing technology has advanced so much that other material types, such as ceramics and metals, can be used as well. And so, ahead, we discuss a few of these material types and subtypes in more detail. First off, we have nylon. Nylon is the most common material used in 3D printing. Chemically, it is a synthetic thermoplastic polyamide. The reason it's so coveted as a 3D printing material is its flexibility, low friction, and durability. It's also a common choice for textiles and crafting accessories. Nylon filament can really be the best bet for complicated or delicate shapes. Pros include durability, good strength to flexibility ratio, minimal warping, and ease of dyeing. Cons include one-year shelf life, a tendency to shrink during cooling, and the need be kept dry. In addition, it is not compatible with all printers. Next, we have ABS plastic. It is one of the most common materials for household and personal 3D printing. As a thermoplastic filament material, it is a top choice for use as a 3D printer filament. It is also a great choice for engineers and manufacturers who need high-quality prototype products. Pros of ABS plastic include easy access, budget-friendly pricing, a large range of colors, and higher durability than nylon. Cons include a tendency to warp, non-biodegradability, toxicity at high temperatures, and the requirement for a heated bed. Now, we move on to high-impact polystyrene, also known as HIPS. 
hips is quite similar to ABS plastic. However, the two materials have different solubility profiles. For instance, high-impact polystyrene is completely soluble in linoleum, whereas ABS plastic is not. HIPS is also used in FDM 3D printers as a support structure. Pros of this material include the fact that it is easy to cut, can be used to make complex models, is lightweight and smooth, is impact-resistant and water-resistant, and is affordable. Cons are not many and include unpleasant-smelling fumes as well as a tendency to clog the printer. Next, we have resin. There are different types of resins, and each of them is a pretty common choice for 3D printing. Examples include tough resin, castable resin, and flexible resin, and each of them is typically used in DLP, SLA, clip, and multi-jet technologies. Pros include high versatility, low shrinkage, and high chemical resistance. Cons include high pricing, low shelf life, high photoreactivity, and the tendency to prematurely polymerize on exposure to heat. Moving on, we come to polylactic acid, also known as PLA. The great thing about this material is that it comes from renewable resources such as cornstarch and sugarcane. Polylactic acid is commonly used in training institutions due to its ease of printing and safety. It is also viable in FDM desktop printing. Pros of polylactic acid include low warping, printability on cold surfaces, suitability for sharper features in corners, and a large array of available colors. Cons include lack of sturdiness and tendency to deform when heat is applied. And then we have polyethylene terephthalate. This is also called PET and PETG. It is typically shaped with thermoforming 3D processes. The best thing about this material is that it can create engineering resins when combined with other substances like glass fiber. The difference between PETG and PET is the presence of modified glycol in the former. This modified glycol makes a huge difference, resulting in a clearer, less brittle, and less strenuous material to use. As such, PETG is more common than PET. Pros of this material are many include high durability, high recyclability, high impact resistance, high sterilizability, excellent adhesion properties, high temperature resistance, and ease of printing. As good as it is, it does have some cons, and these include susceptibility to degradation under UV light, a tendency to scratch at the surface, and high demand for testing. Moving on from plastics entirely, we have our first batch of metals. Recent advances in 3D printing technology have allowed gold and silver to be used as printing materials. Before use, they need to be processed into powder form. They are some of the sturdiest materials available for use in 3D printing. They are mostly used to make jewelry and 3D printing processes. They are compatible with include direct metal laser sintering and selective laser melting. Pros include high electrical conductivity, high heat resistance, and high durability. Cons include high cost, time-consuming to work with, high reflectivity, and the need for extremely high temperatures to be worked into shape. Next, we have another metal, stainless steel. It is used for constructing sturdy materials and detailed work. Some of the items best 3D printed with stainless steel include keychains, bolts, and miniatures. 3D printing processes applied with this material include fusion and laser sintering. Pros of stainless steel as a material include heat treatability to enhance durability and strength high strength applications, high corrosion resistance, and high ductility. Cons include the fact that it's time-consumed to use, is not budget-friendly, and has limited printing size. Next, we have titanium. As the lightest and strongest 3D printing material, titanium has a moderate surface roughness. Direct metal laser sintering is the 3D printing process that is used to handle titanium. Titanium filament printing finds its application in high-tech fields like medicine, space exploration, and the aerospace industry. Pros of titanium printing include high resolution, high complexity, high precision applicants, high corrosion resistance, and biocompatibility. Cons are very few, the most notable of which is its high pricing. Moving on from metals, let's consider ceramics. The great thing about ceramics as a 3D printing material is that they can withstand extreme temperature and pressure without warping and breaking. 
they are also less likely to get corroded and wear away. Combining all of these properties makes ceramics more long-lasting than both plastics and metals. Pros of ceramics include suitability for high-precision works, provision of smooth, glossy finishes, high resistance to heat, acid, and lye, and a wide array of available colors. Cons of ceramics include very high temperature requirements, high fragility, low compatibility with assembly pieces, and low compatibility for glazing and lining processes. So, with all these materials discussed, which is the best, which is the most common? Well, so far, plastic is the most common. This is because it's highly compatible with a lot of printers. It is also cheap and affordable. It must be said, though, that the right choice of material depends on your objective. If you want strength or sturdiness, there are great choices. And if you want flexibility, there are yet more choices. Money is also a barrier, sure. But if you've had the bucks, feel free to go all out. With all these materials, yet more are being developed. The future is the most exciting time for 3D printing. We will eventually get to the level where even food can be 3D printed. But as of now, we will have to make do with inanimate objects and structures. Coming to the end of this video, we hope you've learned a lot about 3D printing in general and the materials used in 3D printing. These materials make all the difference, and they ensure that 3D printing has better potential and increased versatility. Well, that's all for today. To learn more, please check out other videos on this channel. We have a great catalog of videos intended to keep you informed, engaged, and entertained. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you like the video. Doing so supports the channel and lets us keep coming at you with the awesome content. Until next time, have a good day. Catch you later.